Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got number 1 in the world with the best Hulk Rider deck in Clash Rap. Alright, jumping in the first match here, I'm pretty sure we're up against one of the best Lava players in all of Clash Rap. So I'm going to go with my Hulk Rider, pretty much first play right here, just trying to catch him in an awkward cycle hopefully. He'll go with his Skelly Drag there on our Hulk Rider, but should still get pretty nice damage. They're almost a thousand damage, getting like two Hog Shots, a few Skeleton Chip Shots as well. I'm gonna tank his skelly drags with my giant skeleton, should apply pretty good um, pressure as well, and just like fully tank them for our tower to take out. He does have skelly king, so I'm gonna go with my archer queen on it, should be able to hopefully kill any air units he tries to plant, force out more elixir from him. He'll try to tank our archer queen here with a wall, but I don't really think it's gonna do the, the greatest job for him, still gonna pretty much die to our archer queen ability, I think. And yeah, really good giant skeleton, they're always like making sure we get pretty good value out of our giant skeletons, always just like pretty much killing like whatever they play with the giant skeleton death ball. I'm gonna go with my cannon here against his flying machine. I have to tank it with a hog rider as well. Pretty awkward cycle unfortunately. It's really hard to kill those flying machines. Uh, pretty good prediction log on his tombstone but somehow it survived like three skeletons. I'm not really too sure how that happened but I'm gonna get a couple nice hog shots once again. I feel like our hog riders are always getting so much damage so really well played by us so far. And yeah fire spirit gonna get a ton of damage as usual. So in this matchup, it's usually better to go same lane, just to like, kind of stack the lanes with your giant skeletons, force them to spend a lot of elixir on it, instead of really supporting their lava pushes very well. So I'm going to go with my earthquake right here. I don't want to play a giant skeleton too early, if he doesn't play a lava. I'm going to keep on chilling out here. I might just play my giant skeleton pretty soon, but I think I'm going to go with the hog rider first right here. Just want to make sure we hold on to our giant skeleton as long as possible. Hog rider should pretty much take his tower there in the right lane. So I'm going to go with the giant skeleton here in the left lane hopefully apply apply good pressure there and i'm gonna just eat these skelly drags you don't want to over commit defending them it looks like he's gonna go with the lava in the left lane this time so pretty interesting choice by him he's not really gonna have nearly any damage done in the left lane so he's gonna have to take our full tower here to be able to really do anything he's gonna have flying machine pretty high right there he does have to spend the skelly king as well though so not really too bad for us hopefully the giant skeleton death bomb can do something against his units there pretty decent giant skeleton death bomb He's going to go with his Skelly Drags plus Miner here. Luckily our tower does target one of the Skelly Drags. Okay, it's getting really sketchy right now in the left lane. Hopefully our Giant Scott and Death Bomb can just carry us. Hog Rider does actually take his tower there in the in the right lane. I'm going to go with my Queen right here. I think Ability should be able to hopefully defend everything. Yeah, so it's pretty much good game at this point. I just need to like block up the lane with my Giant Skeleton. So I'll just see you guys in the next match. Alright, in the next match here we're going to be up against Anaban. This is really good for me though, I was kind of expecting Anaban to try to snipe me, so I decided to run Royal Hogs this game instead with like Inferno Tower and stuff. I'm pretty sure he's running like some E-Giant Earthquake deck to try to snipe my main Hog deck, so I decided to put Inferno Tower in there, which is pretty good against most E-Giant decks. Yeah, he has like Ram Rider plus E-Giant, really weird combination by him, but I kind of, kind of like anticipated his snipe using like the Ice Spirit in this deck as well, so I'm not really sure how it's going to go here, but I'm going to definitely try my best. I feel like this deck... It's pretty much the same as Hog EQ, you just have like a few different cards in it. I'm gonna go with my Royal Hogs here, should like bait out some Elixir from him hopefully. Uh, he will activate his King Tower there, so pretty good for him to be honest on the defense there, but I kind of just want to go pretty aggressive, just like forcing him to not go with like a mirror E-Giant really aggressively. That's why I decided to pressure like that. His Gold Knights could be a little bit hard to deal with at times, not having like a Valkyrie in the deck or like a, a Giant Skeleton, but still should be able to have pretty good royal deliveries on them. Might have to Ice Spirit here as well. I feel like Ice Spirit should come in clutch at kind of stunning his Ram Riders since we kind of want to save our Inferno Tower for his E-Giants. Don't really want to waste our, our Inferno on his Ram Rider. So I'm going to go with my Queen in the back right here. I'm pretty sure he's playing Earthquake in his deck. Anaban nearly always tries to snipe me so I was kind of expecting him to snipe me and I I had like a pretty pretty good idea of what to run right here. I'm going to go with another set of Royal Hogs. He does have Cannon. I was kind of expecting Fisherman from him. Normally he runs this deck with Fisherman instead of Cannon, so I wasn't really too sure which version he'd be using here. Pretty good Queen though, gonna pretty much take out his Gold Knight, and somehow dashes to our tower instead of the Ice Spirit. That's really unfortunate, but not the end of the world to be honest. I'm feeling pretty decent about this matchup, but not really the, the greatest, since he probably does have like Mirror Earthquake to kill our Inferno Towers. And yeah, I'm a little bit scared of these Golden Knights as well. The one nice thing for us though is that he can't really kill our Archer Queens very well unless he like nados them into an E-Giant, so that should be pretty good for us on the defensive end. I'm gonna go with my Ice Spirit here on his Ram Rider. I'm also gonna go with an Earthquake anticipating a Cannon, but he does play the Cannon in a pretty 
good position there, kind of avoiding the earthquake. And his E-Giant probably will kill our Archer Queen here, but I'm going to activate the ability really early, just make sure it gets the maximum amount of damage on the E-Giant before it starts getting like reflect damage on it. He's going to go with the Mirror Earthquake there on Inferno Tower, going to be pretty hard to defend this. I'm going to try to go with like a log on it, that should be enough I think, along with a set of skeletons. And pretty good Royal Hogs, they're getting a little bit of damage on his tower, kind of evening things out right now. I'm going to go with my delivery on his, on his Golden Knight here, just to kind of cycle. I'm going to go with another Royal Hogs here. Pretty good bias there not to go with the Earthquake, don't want to overcommit too much, because then he has a pretty, pretty tough offense here, so can't really um, overcommit too much. I'm going to go with my Ice Break here, pretty high Inferno Tower Bass, kind of just trying to DPS down his E-Chant before he had the, the opportunity to respond to it. Okay, he's going to go with the Mirror Ram Rider here. What the freak, how did that go for the Inferno Tower? Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go with my Delivery here, I'm just going to go with an Ice Spirit. I like the Ice Spirit's really saving us in this match, but I would have been dead so many times if we had the Ice Spirit in this deck and we had like a Fire Spirit instead. Okay, that Ram Rider was completely insane. I don't know how it had that long of a sight range. I'm going to go with an Earthquake here. Um, pretty good Earthquake, regardless of it hitting the cannon or not, though, because it's still going to chip away the tower each time. I'm going to go with the High Queen right here. Not really going to give him any type of, like, Earthquake value on our tower, potentially, or, like, anything like that. His Gold Knight will do pretty good work against our Royal Hogs there, but he's still going to have to spend the NATO and the log there. And he can't go with the Mirror E-Giant right now, since he... Since he kind of like spent his other cards. And with a pretty high Inferno Tower he once again just kind of make sure that it, it kills it before it really even crosses the bridge right here. Should also pull the Ram Rider as well so that should be pretty pretty nice for me. He's gonna go with that cannon there against our Inferno Tower I guess but gonna, gonna um, stop it pretty well there. Can also go with the log on his Ram Rider always making sure they don't get any type of charges onto our tower. I'm gonna go with the high Inferno Tower here. We have a bit of an awkward cycle so kind of have to make some some interesting plays right here. Okay, how did that not get stunned by the Ice Spirit, that Golden Knight? No clue how that just happened. I'm gonna go with an Earthquake here, should be able to hopefully hit a cannon, but he's gonna go with a bit of a later cannon right there. He'll go with the Ram Rider in the middle as well, I'm gonna go with the Ice Spirit on it. Really good Ice Spirits each time. His Mirror E-Giant could be a little bit hard to stop here with our Inferno Tower since it's pretty much onto it, it's not really gonna get that massive, massive um Inferno damage. Just gonna kind of pull everything towards the middle. I'm gonna go with the high skellies here, hopefully not allow his golden knight to do anything crazy. I'm gonna go with the really high inferno tower as well. Kind of ice spirit here. Okay, how did that dash onto our tower? Okay, gonna you know with skellies here. Can we take it? It's gonna be really close. Wow. He got his earthquake down like one second too late. Alright, hopping in the next match here, we're gonna be up against Morton, who's one of the best players in the world right now. I'm gonna go with my hog rider here as well as an earthquake. I'm pretty sure he's playing cannon in this deck. He almost always plays cannon decks on ladder recently, so I was pretty much expecting that. And seeing this Spear Goblin, this is probably going to be some type of Goblin Drill deck, if I had to guess. Not really sure how I feel about this matchup since we don't really have any Valkyrie in our deck, but I feel like Giant Skeleton is pretty good against most Goblin Drill decks as well, so it should be hopefully okay on defense. I'm going to block his Fire Spirit with our Skeletons. Don't want to waste my Fire Spirit since I'm pretty sure he has Bats in his deck, if I remember correctly. Neo plays GK there against our our giant skeleton, but should be able to hopefully, hopefully leave it pretty much dead there with like our death bomb and stuff as well, if needed. I'm gonna hog earthquake here right here, I don't really think he has much in hand to stop our hog. Okay, just barely don't get a hit right there, really well timed bats by him, he's really good with any type of cycle deck, so really well played there. Yeah, not really sure I feel about this match, but I feel like it's pretty, pretty good that he has cannon instead of like a bomb tower, that's pretty nice for me, but at the same time it's really hard to actually kill these bats. Even though we do have Fire Spirit, he's a really good player, so he's always going to block our Fire Spirits with whatever else he he has in hand. Unfortunately, we do have to waste our Fire Spirit there on his Fire Spirit. I'm going to go with the cannon here against his Golden Knight. Okay, these bats are going to absolutely destroy me. <laughs> this is really bad for us. Couldn't really do too much about it, to be honest. I had a pretty weird cycle. And also Prediction log something here. Unfortunately, only hit a cannon right there. I was kind of hoping to hit Spear Goblins instead. But yeah, really well played by him, really well played by him, and not in the best spot here, but I'm going to go with my Hog Rider, pretty much at 4 Elixir. I just have to spend the defensive drill there, I'm going to go with my Fire Spirit, don't think it's actually going to get a shot on his tower though, so not really the, the greatest right here for us. I feel like double Elixir isn't too bad for us though, we're going to be able to stack a ton of giant skeletons and make like a, make like a lot of big Hog pushes, hopefully. I'm going to play my queen right here in the right lane, just hopefully block it up for a little while, kind of allowing us to set up a nice, nice push here in the left lane with our giant skeleton. 
pretty nice for me that he wasted his Golden Knight on our Queen there in the right lane. Should be able to kind of get our Giant Skeleton pretty, pretty um near his tower without him really having any good tank for it in Cycle. Gonna log away his Drill Rack. Gonna work my Hog Rider behind our Giant Skeleton. Also gonna work the Prediction Earthquake. He does rock at our Hog Rider. That's pretty nice, nice for me to be honest. Not really gonna even hit the Giant Skeleton there. So he does have to spend the Spear Goblins as well. And Fire Spear should hopefully chip away. He does play his Golden Knight though. Yeah, we just have to be really careful of his bats right now. He got so much damage early on just from his bats. And with my queen kind of up high, they're kind of maybe play something behind his drill right there. Kind of log away his drill each time, and his bats are doing a lot of damage to our giant skeleton, but just barely going to stay alive, I think. Hopefully force out a little bit of something else. Or maybe not, not really too sure here. Pretty good earthquake on his cannon. I think Hog might get one shot on his tower. Okay, just barely doesn't, since he played that log right there. But at least we're getting a little bit of a little bit of earthquake ship damage here and there. And the nice thing is that he's wasting his log on defense, so you can't really go with like a log plus goblin drill and get any damage on our tower. Unfortunately, I have to waste my fire spray here on his drill. Don't want to take any any more damage than those few goblin stabs. Uh, pretty good earthquake here on his cannon though. Gonna hopefully get our halt rider to do something. He's gonna go with another log though. At least our cannon will defend his spear goblins though. That's pretty nice for us. But yeah, he's, de he's defending really well right here. He's playing really well, but... Maybe we can get something to happen and work our way as we head into Triple Elixir here pretty shortly. Really good Queen, they're going to kill his Spear Goblins I think and distract his Fire Spirit. I'm going to go with my Hog Rider here, I'm not even going to bother to go with the Fire Spirit on his bats, I'm probably just going to Prediction Log it. Yeah, he does go with the Log right there. We just have to spend a pretty late Cannon though onto our Hog Rider, that's pretty good for us, maybe we can try to like outcycle him right here, hopefully, not really too sure though. Going to Giant Skeleton, always applying good pressure onto him. Really good cannon right there, gonna kind of predict his drill, and I'm gonna go with my, my Hog Rider right here. Gonna go with the Fire Spear on his bats finally, and really good Earthquake there. Gonna put my Skeletons onto his drill, and maybe this Hog Rider can do something against him, not really too sure. He's gonna go with another Log onto it. Wow, I can't believe that didn't get a shot. Okay, it's gonna be really close. Gonna go with another cannon up high, hopefully predicting his drill. We do end up catching it. I have to get like some damage though with like a hog rider or something. So I'm probably gonna go with one more hog pushy. Maybe like force out force out like a rock on defense so you can't end up like rocking our tower, hopefully. And with my earthquake on his cannon, it's gonna be super close, right? He's gonna pull my queen ability, hopefully get something going. I'm gonna go with the hog rider as well. He doesn't have like any cannon in cycle, so hopefully this thing can get to his tower finally. Gonna earthquake his cannon and Oh wow, that hog rider just barely got one shot. Really nice win against Morton. Alright, in the next match here, we're going to be up against Mohamed Light, who is the best player in the game right now. It's going to be a very fun match here. He does have Inferno Tower. I'm not really too sure what deck he's playing, but pretty happy to see Inferno Tower. It's pretty expensive, so it's always going to be a plus one trade when he tries to use it against our Hog Riders. And that's like my log right here, just try to see what other cards he has. He'll go with his drill. I'm going to go with the Prediction Giant Skeleton onto it. Don't end up kind of catching it very well, but still going to do a decent job, I guess. Yeah, pretty good defense right there. He doesn't have any Inferno Tower in cycle for our, our Giant Skeleton, so should hopefully do a good job right here. Gonna Hog Rider in the opposite lane, force out some Elixir hopefully. He'll play his Golden Knight onto I'm not really sure he's gonna stop our Giant Skeleton right here though. Okay, the, the Giant Skeleton is getting awfully close to his tower. Uh, okay, not sure what just happened right there. <laughs> that Giant Skeleton just somehow walked all the way back towards that Golden Knight. I'm gonna go with another Prediction Giant Skeleton, really good Giant Skeleton this time. I'm gonna kind of block his Golden Knight as well as his drill. He'll get the Golden Knight dash onto our tower, but we still do get like the one hog hit from earlier, so we're still going to be up just very slightly in damage. And I think our Giant Skeleton's probably going to force out a lot of Elixir each time with like his Bomber and his Fire Spirit and stuff like that, hopefully. He'll play a Fire Spirit, probably not going to be enough here, he's going to have to spend something else too. He's going to go with the log right there. So yeah, feeling pretty good about this start, but it's definitely not going to be easy. The Inferno Tower isn't particularly good against the Hulk Rider, but it's pretty good against our Giant Skeleton pushes. So not really, not really the ideal building to see, to be honest. Just gonna take the Earthquake chip damage right there. Wasn't really expecting the Hulk Rider to break through or anything, but just gonna get that little bit of chip damage each time with our Earthquake. I'm not sure what spell he has though. He could have like a Rocket or he could have a Fireball. Hopefully it's Fireball though. I feel like that should be a little bit easier. Can we go with my Fire Spirit here at the bridge? Hopefully get something going for ourselves. Okay, he's just gonna kind of let everything go and probably probably go with another drill right here. Yeah, he will drill, so. I'm gonna go with my queen right here. Should we have to fully counter just because of the help of the queen right there? Really nice queen for us. 
And you'll go with the Inferno Tower. I'm just gonna go with my Earthquake on it. I didn't want to play my Hall Rider right away because I was, I was kind of expecting him to go with the Inferno Tower there. So pretty, pretty good by us to kind of hold off on on that um, Hall Rider. Queen's gonna do a really good job right here. Can this not target his Bomber instead of his Golden Knight? That's pretty, pretty nice for me. I'm gonna finally go with the Hall Rider right here as well as an Earthquake. Should be able to fully kill an Inferno Tower if he tries to use it. Yeah, he'll he'll go with it right there. Gonna log away his show. Really. Really good spot for us here. Gonna whip another Hall Rider behind everything. Gonna Earthquake as well, hopefully hitting an Inferno Tower. He just go with the pretty late Inferno Tower. Just has so much HP though, so it's really hard to break through it. And he also had to waste his Golden Knight there on our Giant Skeleton, so that's really nice for us. I'm just gonna keep on setting these high Giant Skeletons up just to like hopefully, hopefully not really allow him to build up much of a, much of a drill push. Um, gonna whip another Earthquake right here on his Inferno Tower if he ends up playing it. I'm pretty sure he has Fireball in his deck, I feel like if he had Rock, he probably would have used it against our Giant Skeleton Hall pushes already, so probably going to be Fireball. I'm uh, going to be a little bit careful against this Golden Knight right here, going to go with the High Cannon, going to go with the Giant Skeleton on Twist Drill, hopefully. Really good Giant Skeleton prediction each time on his on his Goblin Drill, it's going to fully counter it and get pretty good counter push as well. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he has Fireball, but pretty surprised that he didn't actually play it yet. He's going to play an Inferno Tower right here against Sir Hall Rider. Should still force out some more Elixir though. Going to force out the Golden Knight. That's pretty good to see. Going to go with the High Queen here. Going to also ability. Kind of expected him to go with his GK ability right there. So pretty pretty good defense. He does finally go with his Fireball here. Going to go with my Fire Spirit as well as Skeleton. So I don't even want to waste my lock right here if I don't have to. And I'm going to go with another Hall Rider plus Earth Pig right here. No need to even waste my Giant Skeleton right there. I'm going to finally... I'm gonna go with another giant skeleton though, just blocking up the lane, make sure his golden knight can't like somehow randomly dash onto our tower. And a prediction cannon on his skull drill, really good prediction cannon, can also log away his, his drill, make sure it doesn't get any damage. Gonna earthquake here on his inferno tower, should be able to hopefully do something. Okay, he's gonna defend really well though, he has really good, really good defensive cards against us, but we're definitely playing really well. Yeah. Gonna get another prediction cannon onto his drill right here. He's kind of chipping away little by little, but we're defending really well with all of our cards. Gonna go with another Hall Giant Skelly push right here. Should we have to hopefully break through the Inferno Tower there and force out some more Elixir? Unfortunately, it just barely stays alive there. Not really ideal for us. Gonna go with the Hall Rider right here. Kind of blocking up his his um Golden Knight from really reaching our tower. Gonna get one Hulk Shot onto his tower. That's really nice for us. Gonna walk away his drill there. And that should be a good game against one of the best players in the world. Alright, hopping in the next match here, we're going to be up against Batfiz, who is the best expo player right now. I'm going to go with my Hall Rider first play. He does have Cannon though, so it's probably not going to be an expo deck here, it might be some other type of cycle deck most likely. Just going to cycle my cheap cards here, try to figure out what his other cards might be right here. He does have Flying Machine, seeing the Flying Machine is probably going to be some type of E-Giant deck. Honestly, e Giant's a pretty hard matchup for this Hall deck since you don't really have, have like the greatest building against it. You do have Cannon, but they almost always have Earthquake nowadays which is like really, really good against Ken, pretty much fully countering it. He does have Dark Prince as well, so I think our Giant Skeleton should do a good job against it. He does go with the really aggressive E-Giant right here, I'm gonna go with my Cannon. And yeah, he does have the Earthquake right here, but luckily he has pretty much no Elixir left I think, so I think our Queen should be able to hopefully tear through this E-Giant as well as the Dark Prince. Might take the Dark Prince splash to our Queen, but should still have enough health to kind of apply some pressure on him with our Queen. Gonna go with my Hulk Rider, and we do already have another Queen ability pretty much back in cycle, so should be able to force out even more Elixir from him. Yeah, really good Queen right here. He's gonna play his Dark Prince, but gonna take pretty much half of its health off, so just gonna log it away right here, and I think that should be enough to hopefully fully counter it. Gonna pressure with my Fire Spirit as well, hopefully get some nice damage onto his tower. Yeah, really good 300 damage right there. Definitely a really hard matchup right here, so I'm not really expecting to win, but I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna try my best here. I feel like this is a really hard matchup, but this kind of one saving grace here is that we have the Giant Skeleton, which can really just block up the entire lane, no matter what your opponent's playing, so that should be pretty nice for us anyways. So he's going to play his E-Giant in the back here against our Giant Skeleton. Going to be a pretty nice trade for us, I think. Going to be able to kill most of the E-Giant just with our Giant Skeleton. We can also go with the High Queen right here. Might force out like a Tornado, but still going to be like 3 Elixir from here, and make sure he can't really support his E-Giant as well now. We don't even need to play the cannon against his E giant here, should be able to just fully counter with a wall. And he actually has Mirror Nado against our Hulk Rider, pretty unfortunate for us, but still gonna force out the 4 elixir there, as well as his mirror, which is always pretty nice. And with that Hulk Rider right here, kind of kiting his 
his um fire spirit right there. And we're up a few hundred damage right now. Not really the biggest lead like we might prefer to have, but it's still gonna be something at least. I'm gonna go with my queen right here in the left lane. Hopefully, hopefully force out some elixir, making sure he can't go with like the meteor e giant or anything like that. He's just gonna let the queen go right there. Gonna get like a very nice three shots onto his tower. Really good for us. I'm gonna play a high cannon right here against his e giant. Make sure he can't go with like the earthquake on our tower and cannon. Gonna earthquake as well on his cannon and e giant. Just make sure his e giant's pretty slowed down. So I think our our stuff should be able to counter it pretty well. I'm gonna kind of delay on the cannon right here. Make sure his flying machine dies and can should be able to pull this e giant back just a little bit. Gonna walk everything away and I think our giant scotch and death bomb should do a really good job once again against his flying machine. I'm just gonna go with the hog rod right here on his fire spirit. Gonna go with the prediction earthquake on a cannon potentially. Yeah, he just plays cannon right there. Really good defense, best, and should be able to get like two hog shots, I think. Yeah, really nice. I'm also gonna go with the queen to pressure whenever he plays an e giant in the back just to make sure he can't mirror it up or anything like that. I'm gonna force out the dark prince there, so that's always really good to see. He also has to mirror his dark prince right there, so that's honestly really good for us. Gonna be like nine elixir out of him. And he's always putting his slime machines right onto our right onto our giant skeleton, but it's not really working out too well for him since our giant skeleton is just gonna just gonna have the really nice death bomb to be able to kill it pretty well. He does nade or queen into his e giant, but still gonna force out the nade, which is pretty much his best counter to our hog rider. So maybe we can go with like a hog rider right here in a second. Gonna prediction earthquake as well, hopefully hitting something. He does play his cannon pretty high though, and kind of pushing our hog rider with his dark prince. Pretty well played by him to be honest. Yeah, he's definitely playing really well right here, but it's the game for number one, so if we do end up winning this, we should be number one in the world, so definitely going to be really, really tense right here. Going to be super hard to defend this Mirror E Giant push. Going to go with my uh, cannon pretty early right here, just in case he tries to Earthquake it. Should be able to get back another cannon pretty quickly here. Okay, it's going to be really close right here. I'm going to go with my Earthquake on his Mirror E Giant. I'm really scared of his Mirror E Giant. I feel like it just has so much HP compared to like the level 14 E Giant. Pretty good Giant Scout and Death Bomb there, though. Going to pretty much kill his Flying Machine. He's going to go with the near E-Giant push right here. I'm not really sure if we can actually stop this. We're going to go with the cannon right here. Alright, going to queen ability right here. I'm going to try to select back to another cannon as quickly as possible. Hopefully pull back this E-Giant. It's going to be a really close game. You're going to play a defensive hall. i try to walk back his E-Giant. Hopefully, hopefully not allow it to get to our tower. And yeah, really nice, really nice games. Really nice wins. And I think we should be number one in the world right now. So thank you guys for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye!